for life. What's good? How you doing? How y'all good? Are y'all good? Good, good, good. So. Second episode. Yes. We, we got survived a tonight. First. Yeah. Goes by the name of Hayes. Or in German, Hayes. <laughs> yeah, I swear. Oh. I swear. So I got a good question. Okay. To at the same time introduce you and, you know, get a little bit of, um, you know, like just a little, just, just see where your head is. Okay. Basically. Okay. So Let's um, see where we're going. <laughs> so you're a black man from Mississippi. Yeah. Here Down in south. Frankfurt, ex-military. You know, didn't grow up here. How does it feel? And also working at the airport. And being involved with international airport at that. Yeah, being involved with so many people in Frankfurt. You know what I'm saying? So how does it feel for you being in a situation like this? You know? It's very interesting. It really is very interesting coming from good old small Natchez. To be over here for so long, it would be seventeen years in December. Oh. Crazy. And to watch passengers come through to watch the different cultures mix in and mesh with one another here in this small community you can really say yeah I'm enjoying it I really am enjoying it that as a black man I've ex- we we have experienced some things to say it could have went different a different route considering the atmosphere of today with how people deal with um, police interactions. You know, we had our situation back in November uh-huh. with Joe. Okay. You know, so it's... So you're trying to say that, like, there's a similarity from being in the there States and being here There is to a Germany. certain extent, but uh-huh. you get more of a feeling of people more concerned with their countries and their interactions with the other countries as opposed to us being just black and white. Yeah, okay, okay. So you mean America. like Turkish against Moroccan you, you know, or you know, that's the, you know, Senegal that's, against Cameroon. That's or, how we do it at the airport. You know, you know we. Yeah. the big joke is, you know, if if you're working at the airport, you have to know Turkish, you know. Uh-huh. So there's different words. You know, it's it's okay. little things because it's just one of those things that is a fact that is there you know what i'm saying dealing with moroccans dealing with other depending on where you are working you mean for you being from mississippi yeah, and not yeah. being involved it's, with like so many different yeah, cultures to, to sit up here and watch yeah. these cultures and traditions interact with one another is absolutely amazing yeah. i really enjoy being here well i i personally feel like I've had more racism happen to me here in Germany than I ever did in Jersey. And like, that's a big thing. Like for anybody out there who's from the East Coast up north and you live in Jersey and there's like so many Italian, Irish people Mm. and as cops. And and if I'm saying that, like here is way more racism. Like it's, and it's not even like, it's just like on a, on a level that you might die, but it's just such like a hidden racism like so naive ignorant where you're thinking to the point like you really just said that like no you can't be that naive you knew what you were saying the first racist incident i had was actually in kentucky okay that i can really remember when my mom Uh had to get involved with the neighbor yeah you know what i'm saying so that was but you don't feel like here you've ever here it's like to a certain extent. I mean, it's like I mean, like here you don't know like, exactly. It's in an the states, undertone in the states. You know, yeah, I don't go in this street exactly. Because, Stay out of this. Yeah, yeah they're, they're racist. They're against this they or whatever. Don't go but, to this gated community. But like here, stupid. it could be your boss, your friend, like exactly. somebody you're chilling with I all the time. You. It's a it's and a like subtle you, undertone. You have no it. idea who, what, you know. They could even be like all into black culture, like asking uh-huh. about the newest. Uh-huh. Nike's uh-huh. Jordan's yeah. like, yeah. oh, how was it back in the 90s? Uh-huh. Like, okay. But then I peep game and then I could see like, you know, like certain, they don't want you to be involved, but they want you, they, they want to be somehow connected to you. Yeah, yeah. You know, like. <laughs> like, like everybody want to be black, but nobody yeah, yeah. want to be black. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Everybody want to be black, but yeah, don't yeah. want to be Yeah, black. that's a J.I.D. reference. <laughs> it, Actually, J.I.D. Wanna... had it in the song. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Paul Mooney. Paul Mooney. Yeah. Back in the day. You know what I'm saying? But. 
I feel what you're saying on that. I see it also. I mean, I'm more susceptible to being stopped and controlled walking here in Germany as yeah. opposed to in the States. I mean, look at that one incident. We had one incident like, for everybody crazy. out there. We were walking crazy. with kids. Um, <laughs> everybody had... No, I didn't have my, my, my son or anything with me. No, it was, but, no, it was you, just Joe with his daughter. Joe and his daughter. So it was just three of us and a uh, homie with his daughter. And we're walking in a town that we've actually been living in or the area for over like... 15 years yeah. all collectively <laughs> and then um we see the cops they uh ride around the Strasserbahn in frankfurt the street train and then um we're like uh oh we, we know what's gonna happen and we even crossed the main main major street and uh we knew already like all like instinctively we all said uh oh here we <laughs> they, go they we're gonna coming. get pulled they over coming. even though we were with a little kid <laughs> who mind you is under four years old so, and it's like three o'clock in the afternoon, just to paint a picture on a major street. Everybody's getting off of work. We're just walking. For some reason, we had a, we all had off at the same time. It was off, all off early. So we're walking to go pick up, uh, pick up his other daughter, actually, from a party uh -huh. and uh, from a birthday party, little kid's party. And then the cops pull up, bam, like, whoop, whoop. <laughs> it was like, all yo, controller. Yeah, yeah, like, you know, oh, we just want to check your ID. You we're know. like, what? Mm -hmm. So we... You know, knowing our rules, because you you need to know your laws. Exactly, I wanted to, like, I wanted to touch on that. that it is doesn't matter very, where you yes, live. You need yes. to you need to know your laws, and not to say that you can what you can get away with, because cops will lie and deceive you, and they're allowed to do that. So you know, just to protect yourself, no, it doesn't matter what, what country they, you're in. If if you're going to go visit, yeah, you you need to know the culture, you need to know the laws. Mm -hmm. You don't want to do anything disrespectful and then get beat up and be like, yo, I don't understand why I got beat up. You it's know crazy. Like, it's <laughs> it's crazy. Like you you know, going back to me working at the airport. You get so many people who come through and you have to try to explain to this person that something that they have is not allowed. Uh -huh. You can sit up here and do miming, pantomime. You, you can do so much stuff and this person still will not understand what you're trying to say. Some people get frustrated. Uh -huh. Some people just be like, doesn't matter. I'll just take it, throw it away and stuff, you know, but... You need to know where you are, your rights where yeah. you are. You need to be able to express yourself in some kind of manner. Mm -hmm. It's it's really amazing and stuff. I mean, huh. sometimes it's very sad. Yes, yeah, sad. I mean, we even very had a, sad. to finish the story. The little girl that was with us, and as the little other girl is coming out of the uh, party, everybody's seen that the cops are harassing us. She starts crying because she doesn't. She thinks her daddy's about to go in jail. She has no idea why three cops are there for just our IDs with guns. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like exactly. Frankfurt, Germany. It's it's. I don't know. The only thing I can say is that ninety percent of the time you will make it home. But, you know, like, and what, but what about the mental aspect of it? Like the, the whole, you know, like the... The mental aspect brings you a nostalgia feeling, brings you back to, you, you feel as though, am I, am I back home? No, I mean, like the effect on your mentality, like as you, uh, it, this keeps on happening and everybody's like, oh, but at least you're not in the States and they don't shoot you here. Like, motherfuckers, like, it's the, that's yeah, the psychological yeah. that's effect. The, point. Yeah, the psychological yeah, yeah. effect is so crazy. They don't even understand it. Like every single yeah, day, yeah. like I've been stopped in a suit. I've been stopped in uh, holding a baby, <laughs> like, you know what I'm saying? Like, coming from a funeral, like we're all black on there. Like, what are you doing? Why are you dressing all black? Like, yo. That's why me and Fred <laughs> used to leave work and make sure that we're wearing our ties. Yeah. Because you got two black men from Mississippi uh -huh. living here in Germany, working at the airport, wearing ties. Oh, International yeah. it must be about something. There, there's yeah. something. Look. There's something. Let them go. Let them go through. And it's they flew it's a weird feeling. You know what I'm saying? You, you, you get a privilege to a certain extent, but then it goes to here we go. What privilege do we get? There's some things that as a black man, you come over here and you're harassed and undertones of harassment, racial injustice, whatever the case may be. But then on the other side, you get to have your fun. Uh -huh. Being a black man over here in Europe. Also, that's the price I got to be. You know what I'm saying? A lot of people are willing to pay that price. Okay. A lot of people are. 
enjoy themselves over here. Well, I think if, you know, like if I had a son's tanning studio. Oh, uh-huh. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I yeah. would call it, this is how we do it. And I would only have black people like as pictures on it. <laughs> you know, like the advertisement, <laughs> you know, like as models and shit. Because you don't see us enough. But there would be a good thing. Like, and people, white people would be walking in and be like, man, that's how they do it. And like, yo, I'm born like this. <laughs> born, natural, baby. Born like this. <laughs> No, what it, I mean. So, yeah, Bruno, what's what's good, man? Like no. I feel you, 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 you checking out this like this this he American felt, felt experience. For a oh, but then you being a European, being from outside of Germany, coming over here, mm-hmm. how is it for you? Like dealing. Do you with, get any kind of discrimination? You know, type. Hmm. Oh. I would say not really. Okay. No. Oh, well, guys. okay. Mm, not really. I mean, definitely by the way I dress. Um, you get more certain... discrimination for the way you dress because yes, and sometimes I had experiences if uh, by the looks like I would look. They like how do they say Kanaki or how, how Kanak- does say? Yeah, Kanak- I, yeah. This is yeah, like Turkish one, or whatever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, but that's also a racist thing to say, right? Yeah, yeah. Uh, but. Um, uh, I had some experiences with uh, um, folks, uh, w- for example, with the clients. They would look at me weirdly. I would have some weird, uh, mm. huh, he's not German, blah, blah. Uh, but most of it was it by the way I dress. But no, bro, I'm a white privilege kid. <laughs> Straight up. So Straight when he was up. talking so, about... So white privilege is alive. It's, it's alive and It's live and, and recording and recording <laughs> this <laughs> <new> podcast. <laughs> yeah. Um, no, I'm... Um, I mean, thank God. No, I guess. So yeah, I was just. So quiet. then, I mean, do we do we go to a? Is there a white privilege? What do you, uh, what do you mean? I mean, he. Is, mean? There is, is there a white is, privilege? Is there a white privilege? Is there a white advantage? Of being course. Here. Of course. Of course, bro. Okay. Uh, everywhere. European. Okay. And everywhere. I think everywhere. Yeah. Mostly everywhere. Like I'm sure. Yeah, okay, everywhere. <laughs> like, everywhere. Was saying, like, everywhere. Like, like, everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, everywhere. Okay. Not just I mean, going off of everyone's personal experience because I mean I do I I've had a I had a white German I had a German woman. She started crying at work when I told her that I get controlled at least once a month walking in Frankfurt. Yeah, okay. A lot of people she are started not crying. Aware. She was like, I've yeah. never they're not so aware. I, yeah, they're not aware. Never think that that would happen. Oh my God. I'm yeah. like, yeah, this is a reality for some yeah. of us. I mean, technology has brought us to a level that it can be a little bit more exposed, but Yeah. Well I say fuck them all. Fuck them all. <laughs> yeah. 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 By the way, guys, you have so many references from like um, a lot of rappers and songs. It's funny, like now fuck them all. Or uh, what did you say? Oh, before? okay. Well, shit. Yeah. <laughs> you work for the system. Fuck it. Yeah, true. <laughs> true, true, true. Shit. Yeah, I don't know, but white privilege is definitely a thing. I mean, yeah. I mean, if you can have a person be- like Trump be that stupid and be pre- <laughs> be president, that's like the perfect example. I would like, not would never, use that as example. <laughs> no, because would, he would never be black you, you, to be that dumbest and outrageous. Like, yo, they would have to be a Ob- Obama type. You know, person. exactly. I feel you on it. Exactly. <laughs> they Ex- have to be conformed and you know, saying play the role and shit, play basketball. You know, say like got a lefty and everything. I peep his game, but you know, like, there's no way that Obama could have acted like Trump. So being, the, <laughs> let's, let's go quote unquote first. Yeah, yeah, black, yeah, you yeah. can't, you know, yeah, quote unquote was, first yeah, black we, president. Yeah, because we can get into yeah. that conversation also, but it's whatever. Yeah. But yeah, I feel you. I feel you. A, a black president could never act like that, regardless of whatever your uh, take on his actions may be. Yeah, look at a Brianna, a Brianna uh, Taylor incident and stuff, the DA. Uh, black the dude. black dude, yeah, yeah. yeah. Like yeah, he didn't, yeah. he didn't do anything for that case because yeah, he knew yeah. as soon as he would do anything out of the norm, he's out. <laughs> yeah, he, so he dealing with a lot of stuff. Yeah. There, and there was actually there was also a he don't uh, want to die a sheriff. <laughs> or what, 
one in Georgia or something, one of these southern stuff. with the hat, the the yeah, he the did a commercial, a and then yeah. all of a sudden he got caught mm-hmm. doing some trafficking or something, something he did, but you know, it was Texas. felony type stuff. So, Texas. <laughs> you know, yeah, we don't you want South to ratchet motherfuckers. Yeah. <laughs> hey, you know, third coast, man, third coast, bro, off the chain. But it was, yeah, it's interesting to see us. But I have a question. Okay. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> oh, sh- Uh-oh. Okay, as a black male in Germany, do you do you feel the difference of racism in back home in the States and here? And if so, what is the difference? Yeah, I guess... Or is there such a thing as different racism? Like, yeah, I guess like what we touched on before, that it's just hidden here. Like, at least in the States, you know. It's in you your can, face. Yeah, it's in your face. You can respect it. They will not, like, you know, yeah. shy away. Man, from Mississippi, you know that a yeah. person is racist, but they will still tell you hello. Yeah, or, like. Yeah, they're, yeah. they're respectable enough to tell you hello, but. That's basically crazy. They will let you know. Yeah. Yeah, I, res- I respect the, the, the honesty. Fuck away. Like, yeah. don't, don't come. I don't like the whole, um, I'm a smile on your face, and I don't like you one bit. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to make sure that. You know, people talk behind your back, type yeah, like, but well, whatever, yeah. yo, just be truthful about that shit. Yeah, so, true. So that's other your, people are not, but and Germany, it's crazy because a lot of people different. like, you know, they, I, I got a black friend, you know, yeah, I hear that a lot, you know, from yeah. guys at my job and stuff, and it's, it's weird. I, I got a black friend, honestly, and I tell these people. Huh? He's more German than you. <laughs> he, he's more German than you. Yeah, yeah, you're. Yeah, what can you say, man? Uh, little Oreo. Little Oreo. Yeah. So, we so got election. Now we sit up here. Yeah. I'm sorry. You guys went <laughs> into the direction of the topic where I was yeah. like, I cannot say anything. <laughs> Let me just be quiet. Because yeah. <laughs> uh, I have a full list uh, here of people who would say something if I said something. <laughs> no, but you know what? That's, and that's the problem. You, even as a white person... Have also a say. Have a say. Yeah, you you have an opinion, you're... and yeah, I would agree with that too. Yeah, I would that, agree I don't, with that too. Anybody who try to step, man, hey, chill, chill the fuck out. Right, like, really, chill out. Tra- usually, who's trying to step is actually white people. Usually, these, these uh, social justice, me. yeah, social justice warriors. Yeah, I yeah, never heard it from a. <laughs> yes, <laughs> because like before, I had some, I had some public opinions um, that I put out publicly about racism and this whole thing and it's funny every comment that i got for it uh was um was from a white person actually there's not a single black i mean you guys know me for long <laughs> you would long also say enough, something. i mean uh, but um however um i'm i'm still open to an idea like i'm the type of person that everybody should has i'm a free speech type of a guy so so I'm definitely all for um, everybody sh- can have their own opinion and express it. The problem is we live in a very sensitive um, day and age. Exactly, yes. which is, yeah. oh my fucking God. Yeah. But however, what I wanted to say is um, I'm also open to an idea that even me, like you said, as a white person, I also have a say. I agree. I do have a say. But at the same time, I should be way more careful because of this white privilege thing and because of um, yeah, and what I'm saying. Yeah, that you might not be sensitive to certain certain things. No, you but might not think even towards but not even towards black people. Yeah, I know. towards white people. Uh, no, not towards no, white people. I, no, but no. Uh, when white people listen to me, yeah, I feel yeah. what you mean. There are certain things that they yeah. shouldn't. Li- For example, when we, I mean, we and you had a conversation about racism, mm-hmm. and it went fucking hardcore. I bet if that was recorded, <laughs> I would probably, I don't know, some, some somebody would beat me, you know, and, and you know, and as a white person talking to a black a person too, you know yeah, what I mean? Yeah. And we co- completely talked open about it. We went hardcore, deep fucking. Yes, we did. Yeah, yeah it was. Yes, we did. It was ridiculous. Enjoyed it. Yeah, and, and I really enjoyed, enjoyed it. it. I enjoyed it. I learned a lot. But for example, that type of a conversation, unfortunately, in to this day and age, you're not allowed to have a um, controversial just, or you're not you allowed like to have opinion politi- like that. Politi- political, political, con- yeah, yeah, pol- un- yeah. Uh, and um, and I, I, I do definitely think that, however. As a white person, I should be careful what I'm saying, 
because of other white people listening to it. Because be, as far as black people, like, I'm good, bro. Like, I never had a black person coming to me being raped. I mean... No, I feel you. I yeah, never yeah. had it. And if and if I had, cool. Let's, but that's let, their let me insecurities, learn. man. Like, But not necessarily insecurities, bro. Like, th- there's definitely people, th- th- both white and black and yellow, today that they're not aware of certain things and, or they have this kind of like a facade that they but don't see But that's the thing that everybody, like, everybody has their views and you just have to respect every everybody for their views and you can't force it on somebody and expect them to be as far as you are. I you agree. Know? I 100% you know, and that, that's agree. A, like, that's a problem with people that are like, so far ahead and they're like they're doing their good things and yeah, stuff but yeah. they expect everybody to be on their same level exactly. and if you're not and if you're not then you're already yeah, bad definitely. and you're this and that and exactly. they may not say it and it'd be like yo i never say that i never judge people but yeah deep down they are it judging yeah, people and they're already, they're already crit- criticizing and thinking like oh i'm not gonna really talk to them because they already said this thing about yep. gay person or this thing but they yo they might just be uneducated and hanging out with you for a certain number of time might actually bring it out in them and they hear you talk exactly. and then you change them over time slowly though and not without yeah. pressure <laughs> you yeah, know what I'm exactly. saying like, I, nobody I, wants to be pressured I signed to this 100% yeah. I have so many uh, like not issues but like I'm, I'm, I'm just uh, tired of exactly those types of people uh-huh. and uh, what they also don't realize again back to the point of we're so fucking sensitive. Yeah. Uh, but uh, people can change. I can yeah. be racist today and tomorrow not. Yeah. yeah. You know what I change mean? Change like, is inevitable. Cha- yeah. I, it's people, inevitable. People can... No, but I mean, that is the whole goal, change. right? Yeah. That, that is what that we is all goal. try no, no, to I mean, like, with this. If people are mad at somebody for being racist and then they actually change, right? And then it's like a year or two later and you see them like yo you were racist like yo i've done so much for the community i've done this and that i've changed my ways but you're still seeing them as what you wanted to see them a lot of people you know? don't change and their perspective yeah, they don't change said person yeah, but that, exactly. that goes with a lot of things in life yeah, that yeah. people see you a certain way and don't realize how long you know you or how much energy is taken for you to get to where that's, you are yeah. right now and, is, and where do real. you where you also come from yeah. and that's so they don't real. see their soul progress they just want to see the end yeah for an example very good example um i was around um different ethnicities ethnicities (laughs) like i was around asian black uh turkish people and we're sitting all together and there's topic about police brutality especially at the time when the george floyd thing happened Uh and um black people turkish people they're all telling stories like you guys just said a story about um, cops pulling them over blah 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 blah. Uh, we were walking when we got uh, pulled over <laughs> so and it wasn't like we were driving yeah <laughs> stopped, stopped by yeah. and um and um and they're talking they're just telling their stories uh, and like most of them every most of the stories racist issues like racial profiling and blah 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 uh-huh. and then when I had my stories, when I started said, telling my stories, because I have a lot of them as well, I, I started being looked upon like, well, it's okay if a cop beats you, uh, you know, because cop didn't beat yeah. you because you're black. Cop beat me because I'm black. Mm-hmm. Uh, by the way, I never met a person in Germany who got beaten by a police officer here still yet yeah but there's that happens no i know i know there's definitely and i've seen i've seen it live literally uh, uh, like those i don't know if you saw those uh, at tile there's a lot of nazis here and they don't want to like open that up in the government exactly i just want to put it out there fuck you guys yeah but but, uh yeah when i was starting to uh tell my stories i i started being like (sighs) you know and then uh i started they were like oh man um, why are you saying this? Blah blah. Are you trying to say that uh, it, 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 um, it's like it's not just uh, for black people? You know what? Like it's they yeah, yeah. they made it look like I was like, ah, it's not that bad. I got beaten up too. Yeah, yeah. They they trying to they, play it. They play went, it to the side. And I was just like, no. I also had issues with the cops. That doesn't mean because I'm white. Like I just yeah. come from this place. We had terrible. I go back to that sensitivity we got today. Too many people are just too sensitive about whatever's being said. I don't know. Said. Well, I guess you know people might take it as like using a using somebody else's pain as a platform for your pain. Yeah, you know? it's. So now I think that's what it's like touched on. Maybe. I don't know. Just me as a white person in this whole world today that we live right. in. Right. It's just, it's really some, I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm telling you, like, 
I'm on like literally I'm not traumatized, but I'm really careful. And sometimes in some situations, I'm not completely 100% myself uh-huh. because I'm like, I shouldn't say this because blah, 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 blah. Yeah, yeah. And, the, and for example, you talked about a topic about the cops uh-huh. or whatever. Somebody got pulled over. For example, we got once pulled over uh, and we also had a, like a kid. Mm-hmm. And it was a drama. It doesn't matter. The story doesn't matter. But like, mm-hmm. if I was like, for example, let's say I feel like telling this story, like connecting it, yeah, we're communicating. So, yeah, yeah. And today I don't feel comfortable doing that. It would be lost, and you mm-hmm. know what yeah. I mean. And then I feel, and then, I, and then I'm definitely not hundred percent myself. Well, I guess I mean, if a reasonable person they hear a story and they were just the problem is, to bro. Police brutality. And, I agree, bro. But know. the problem is, we live in the age where there nobody's reasonable. Uh, we live in the age of this is my extremism. opinion. Extremism. It's uh, extremism. It's yeah. sensitivity, and it's yeah. like this is my opinion, and fuck you for having yeah, your own fucking yeah, opinion because yeah. this is my opinion. This is all. Yeah, yeah. And if you're not like this, then you're a bad person. And hey, everybody else here around me, fuck that motherfucker because he doesn't think the way we do. <laughs> yeah. And 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 it's it, and it creates chaos. So group group uh, mentality, like you it, know, saying everybody has the same. Group thought. <laughs> yeah, I, I, we well, we had a conversation Confront like way, way back, and, and you said a very, very good thing. You said, uh, correct me if I'm wrong, uh, but like I think you said something like we were talking about this. It was around the time of George Floyd time, and we were talking about this whole racism and everything. And then you said something like, "For ah, we talked about the protests, Black okay. Lives Matter, right?" Yeah. So I had certain issues with the protests here because I knew some people from the protest. All I right. spoke about it publicly got pissed on, apologized, blah, 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 whatever. But like you said a good thing. You said like the people who are like for the, uh, the people who are like um, not allowing other people to have opinion, like, oh, this is it and it should be like this and you're them. You're like, for example, people who, people who went to the protests, Mm -hmm. they, they were putting other people who were not basically making maybe, them feel ashamed because they didn't. Yes, go. they were like, "You didn't go, or you didn't say this, or you didn't say that," and it's us and it's you. And then Hay said really good thing. He's like, "The problem we have, the whole this race problem, uh-huh. is separation. That's a that's a problem. Yeah, that yeah. that Straight is up. problem. Well, I, that is the actual problem. The actual thing. Yeah, like dividing. Me, <laughs> me, yeah, me, white no. person, yeah, I mean, dividing." That is, Racism in itself. Yeah, that's that's racism, yeah. right? That's yeah. the that's the issue mm-hmm. yeah. in, in its exactly. core. Exactly. And what Hayes said is like, what they're doing, they're still dividing. Mm-hmm. It's still going to divide us. It's yeah. us and them. It's My us show. who know and understand, yeah. and it's them yep. who don't know and understand. We're woke. Yeah, of who's woke? Who's not? Who's woke? Who's, who's, woke, who's, who's not? How we are as people. And that's yeah. how we are. As, and we and yeah, and when you said that, it, it kind of stuck in my head. And then from that point on, I was like, you know what? Let me just be in the shadows. I'll follow. I'll support if I, you know, but yeah, exactly. Just feel yeah. wherever you are and in, in whatever group may be there. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Not necessarily trying to stick to one group because then you, you're limiting yourself. My cousin, I've, I've looked up to him. He's, you know, helped raise me mentally and stuff uh, since I was very young. And I respect him to the utmost in his opinions. And he was like, you know, you gotta sit up here and get into the mentality of where you are. Get into that mentality, and when you get into that mentality, you can sit up here and really feel where you are because when you try to stick to one group, you just limit yourself. And I try to sit up here and go with that my entire time. That's why I've enjoyed being here in Germany, being here in Frankfurt. It's so safe here. You know what I'm saying? We we chilling. <laughs> how do you guys We're chilling? How do you yeah. guys feel about the uh change of the seasons right now going into fall well that was a hardcore it's, it's turn it was like <laughs> we're we, riding this from, was like, no because he said feeling in germany yeah so i just thought yeah. oh, okay, right okay. now exactly. it is fall time it's true it, so no bro it's actually it's funny because you switched the topic like uh, this weather is switching ex- uh, it's because germany. the weather is switching like yeah. they have all four seasons in like one day i mean for you radio shows out there um peep the game yeah skills. <laughs> But um, um, I enjoy cold weather. Yeah, hard thing about it. Oh really? We got. Oh, I, I, Mississippi I is also it. cold yeah, in the winter. Mississippi yeah. cold. Yeah, yeah. I yeah, yeah. Mississippi they're freezing. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. I enjoy cold weather because he never Here, seen. Here just none. got gray and wet. Yeah. It's, it's, it's terrible. 
like last what three four days rain and just wind and, and, it's, and it's gonna but be, that's why it's gonna be going until Monday, that's why you got like little, that's why you got trends to help you get through the fall like you know uh sober october you got um, okay netflix and chill season and, is about to start it, Netflix Explain to the people season. out there what sober you know, October that just yeah. means. You Bro, I think it. everybody knows, yeah, everybody what knows sober now. October. Is it? I don't know. Well, sober October, you know, for everybody out there is uh, where you do no drugs of any form. You stay sober. Just stay sober. During and October. sober just means like you're just staying away. I don't know. Cigarettes is not included though. Why not? But no. I know it's tobacco should be, but I don't it's think nicotine not a yeah. But I mean, then you would have to cut out sugar because sugar is like the number one yeah, drug. Here so. we go. Let's, let's <laughs> take it. Let's keep going. Let's keep no, going. No, you can't do that. So, but sober is really to okay. do with uh, drugs and alcohol. Okay. That's it. So and uh and then Netflix and chill November what? No, no, bro. Net- Netflix and chill Netflix and chill whenever. season is just when it starts getting dark early and everything, and then Doesn't people want to cuddle up, and then you see maybe. Like people getting together that would normally maybe not even be, or yeah, you know, I like feel, yeah, yeah. you know, I things feel. happening, pe- baby season, because you know yeah. people are having. I don't know now because of the regulations and Corona, so there's no like after the club, you know, mistakes or <laughs> these are they're like Tinder dates probably now because like oh or God. you know like Tinder dates with a Corona test. Please have a Corona <laughs> test to show me that you have Within been the last, last forty eight yeah, hours, <laughs> forty eight hours, and you you, you probably even. See I bet you if they do like a uh, like a, um, ratings afterwards and the statistics, it'll probably say most of the people that were doing Corona tests were um, involved in Tinder dates because Tinder, you know, changed their whole regulations and made you have to get a Corona date before you went on that. Wait, or, <laughs> uh, that was uh, just a yeah, yeah, just theory. hypothetic, you know, like theory. But imagine like the people because obviously they're going to be more and more you know, like subconscious true, true. about it. So you're like. I don't know. I've never they, used they it. They say people but, are still going to the red light. They have to sit up here and wear a mask. Bullshit. You, they, the if you have the closed. number, no, I've oh, heard. No, no, if you have the number, numbers. you can sit up here. You can call them up. You can go up there. Uh, you both have a mask on, and you know, even if you're getting them, you know, blowjob so or something, you can going, sit up. You have to have your mask on. And while she does the it. bitch like, is giving you blowjob, like bullshit. You know, this so is, she has two masks on, so she can have a whole. I, I don't get that. I don't get it either. I don't know. I'm. Don't know, but this is what come has on, been said Hayes. to me. Come on, Hayes. We know you've been the, there. I mean, I can understand like that. Like, I got some number from some, <laughs> some bitch here in fucking red light dish and fucking chongo type <laughs> shit. Get the fuck out of here. <laughs> That's crazy. So, I mean, but you got to get your money. I mean, I can't. You got to respect they, the hustle. Yeah, every day they, respect they, the hustle. They, uh, they, they had a, for a few days ago, they had They had their party. Protest. Uh, they had their little protest no, they had the demonstration. Uh, for for that group of people and stuff, oh, okay, the whole yeah, that they start up again and everything, but they now they're not going to start you know up. But they might be like red light open till ten o'clock. Restaurants, bars, and red light will now be closed <laughs> after ten o'clock. <laughs> <laughs> and people are like freaking out they're like yo that's fucked up man I yeah, can't go to the red light <laughs> like yo I can't go to the restaurant after 10 o'clock I get off of work at like 9 that's fucked oh, up <laughs> oh man but yo you gotta like put in it's, orders and shit you know what would be dope though somebody made an idea because now the regular oh no I shouldn't be saying this <laughs> My, no 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 bro it's, it's whatever bro, it's, it's whatever. whatever no 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 cause I was just giving out free ideas so like crazy idea but you you know, pe- the bars and shit are going to be closed at the 10 o'clock, right? Okay. So you got like a whole like nuclear cool. outfit you on, know what right? I'm saying? And okay. you doing Lee Ferrando for <laughs> Corona standards and shit. Like you really <laughs> protected. <laughs> and you just go in like a moon suit to people's houses like, yeah, Yo, you want that food? It's yeah. after 10 o'clock, yo. 15 euros markup for every meal that you, you want that food? <laughs> every day I'm hustling. Yeah, yeah, yeah it's going to, it's, yeah, two But it's messed up. To, uh, all jokes aside, like it's just like crazy for the people that have their own businesses and restaurants and all that stuff because now they're going to be even more, even bars. Bars have to close and all in like some countries. My question is, so, how does all of this go away? <laughs> When enough people out there start doing a vaccine so I can look and see what's going on for like a year or two and, and, and still not do it because I never did the see, flu vaccine. Yeah. <laughs> no, so all we need is like enough people because there will be enough people, trust me, to do the vaccine. And once they actually get it and then I guess this thing will go away and then like three quarters will do it and the other quarter will just be chilling. There was two uh two. 
uh, HBCU colleges, uh-huh. That's, uh, historical, historical black, black colleges college. and universities yeah. in America. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. They volunteered their yeah, yeah. Their, their, their students. students. A lot they, of people. Yeah. They were like. They didn't volunteer them. You can't volunteer anyone. The but is they deep. were really trying to condition Very them deep. to want to volunteer yeah. for such a yeah heroic uh, like deed. master. You know what master, I'm saying? I'll but, take the vaccine. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> like, did we forget the Tuskegee? Like, really, no, did we forget fucking, Tuskegee? And I don't, that's not even. Yeah, Tuskegee was an uh, experiment with 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 the black pilots in the World War. Yeah, oh, syphilis. I, I don't know. Teach me, please. Yeah, Tuskegee experiments, they were, like, testing everything on the black pilots. Uh-huh. The black pilots were, like, well-known, had a lot of medals and did, like, a lot of battles and everything. Uh-huh. But they were doing um, experiments on them. And then it came out, like, years, years later, after everything always gets released, that they were testing all this type of stuff on the soldiers and everything. What's the name of the... What's the name of the... Tuskegee experiment. How do you exp- uh, spell Tuskegee? Uh, T-U-S-K-E-G-E-E. Tuskegee, yeah, GE. Ah, experiment. Yeah. So Sif- Tuskegee syphilis, syphilis study. Yeah, 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 yeah. They gave it's like I think it was like four hundred black. Alabama men. area, thirty-two yeah, yeah. to seventy-two. Yeah. Uh-huh. United States public Where health service. From? <laughs> I'm from. I'm from the city. We more. We way look more gangster res- with our look racism. Look how resilient they are. You know, we, we way more gangster <laughs> with our racism. <laughs> In this study, the consequences of untreated syphilis infections and often chronic sexually transmitted disease in humans were ex- examined. 39, uh, 399 African American sharecroppers mm. infected with syphilis. They infected them with syphilis. Yeah, like they didn't it. tell them what it was. They yeah, was like, they were "Hey, we got a we got a little experiment for you." And it was like, "Okay, cool." And were examined as a part of the study. Them. Another two hundred people who were considered to not to be infected with syphilis were included in the studies as a control group. Most of the yeah. subjects were poor and could neither read nor write. Yeah. yeah it went that's down. fucked up. I mean, yeah, be going but I mean, you know, not to say like, you know, to each its own, please do the vaccine so we can just go back to normality. <laughs> <laughs> and by then, by the time the vaccine come out, then we'll all have like antibodies to be able to fight it anyway. So... You guys just do it, wow. and I'll be good. I'm, I'm not worried. <laughs> do you think? Do you think? Um, do you think that we will have to take a vaccine? Vaccine? Like no, that would be the crazy thing because if that shit, because I would shoot mother. No, 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 like, like, yeah, like if they start saying that you can't fly because you don't have a vaccine, or if you can't that's, work at your job, that's what we have to worry you, about. You can't get your insurance yeah, your because of this health insurance yeah, yeah. or whatever it might be. Bro, there's no way I'm going to take a vaccine. Yo, that, but that would be How like an How many people are online. willing to actually sacrifice their livelihood and their future for just not to take a vaccine? For no, Whatever I am, I, yeah, I but am one hundred percent ready I mean, we, we, to not take a vaccine. Look, everybody, yeah, but, what, but what if you will have mask. to? Yeah, but what? Yeah, exactly. Well, you know, well, what? if if my job says if you can't take a vaccine and we were uh, you not gonna have a job, and I say pay me, motherfucker. Thank God I'm in Germany because <laughs> I will go <laughs> to court. <laughs> yeah, and we will fight this shit out because they are illegally trying to put some shit in my body that yeah, I am not. Go, yeah, yeah, and then I'm gonna go yeah, and I'm gonna sit at home for a while here. and I'm gonna be doing mad podcasts I'm yeah. gonna probably be learning videos how to edit from Bruno and I'm gonna be chilling be like yo what's up with you I'm like yo I'm, I'm just waiting on my check I'm waiting on <laughs> show me the money yeah no, show me the though. money I mean, fuck yeah, that shit it is a big difference There's between no being way here and there it. I guess with that also yeah what Difference being in the states, and yeah, here. being in the states and being here with with something yeah, like that, I mean, you would sit up here and be like, "But we we are asking you know, you, me while I'm here in Germany." Because you, you could sit up here and say, you know, and here in Germany, one of the Grundgesetz, you know, one of the basic rights, huh. you're not allowed to yeah. hurt me. So if you're not allowed to hurt me, giving me well, a vaccine. I mean, we we'll play games. You know we play we have we semantics. Play, we play that TV, semantics that, that are, TV, radio, and. Um, uh, whatever fee it is, you know, gay set. Uh, yeah. So, yeah, yeah. And, and the Z, rule in Z, Germany is yeah. that no third party can make a bill in your name. But somehow, how, how is somehow it that we still pay they, it? Yeah, somehow we have to pay that. Well, some We're, people pay pay it. But out it's there. the same same in Croatia. Same in Croatia. <laughs> we also have to pay for um for like um. But I don't cable want that. Without I don't, like, I don't yeah, know I don't, Mississippi. If you 
I pay, you don't pay a cable bill. You, yeah, you, you can, don't pay you a cable. You can plug that goddamn cord. <laughs> yeah. You can plug that cable into the wall all you want. Free this TV is, is not free going TV. Oh, bro, but the thing is, you pay not cable. Like you, you have to pay the TV without even having TV. But see, yeah, that's here. Here also, yeah, same in Croatia. That's what I said. You, same in Croatia. If you have a medium that is able to play this stuff, that's why you have to pay. If you have a if you have a smartphone, yeah. That's why you still have to pay here. You can yeah, sit up here. You can watch they can TV come to your house and be like, I don't have a TV. Yeah. You, you got a phone? smartphone. You yeah. can watch TV. Yeah, but. It's the, it's the semantics. It's the, it's the, the technicalities exactly. of what's. Well, the technicality is they cannot ever show me a contract where I sign anything. You know what I'm saying? Like, I didn't sign nothing. I, I sent them, like, a middle finger once. I've sent them, <laughs> like, other... I never signed my name on on, the, on that bill. Like, I, fuck yeah, that. Yeah. There's going to be a lot I've of... I've never... Fu- yeah. <laughs> I, I sat up here when I got out of the military. I told them uh, I worked for the military. And ever since that day, never... You never got anything. Never so received anything else. Out there. That's, Yo, people yeah, out there, never it's right that you're in the German else. military, whatever military, and that's yeah, it. Like, yeah, I'm for just real. passing through, trying to help you guys get babies <laughs> and all that stuff. Make the quota go up. <laughs> Little war babies. Because, <laughs> you know, yeah. <laughs> oh, crazy. <laughs> Yo, I don't know. No, nah, that's, that's what's up. That's what's up. That's what we got to deal with here. That's what I'm enjoying. It's, it's something good to laugh at. You can at least laugh about it here. You can at least laugh about it here. Motherfucker stressed out in the states right now. Talk to enough people back. It's like, yeah. I mean, motherfucker's stressed, man. And we chilling. We chilling. I don't wouldn't say chilling. I, I, still, I would not say chilling. Get the fuck out of here. Come on. <laughs> bro, you, you not chilling? Be, I mean, we're bro, better you. off than most countries because we don't have full lockdown, but I think it's getting to the... We're not even into we season. you into think it's going to happen season. at the end of the month like a lot of people have been talking about? Yeah, we're not even into flu season. It's about to like really yeah, yeah. start right now. Like, And then I think it's once about it gets to, colder... Yeah, I think it's about it's to gonna, hit... It's gonna get crazy. We just ended summer. <laughs> like we just had to switch the jackets. Oh People are gonna start getting sick, and then it's gonna be no matter what the cause is. Just people are gonna be sick at home, thinking maybe they have COVID or maybe they have uh, just normal flu. Or well, now I say normal flu, which is kind of crazy because it's just as bad. Yeah, but yeah, you know yeah. what I'm saying? Like, but you're never gonna know. It's just, it's just gonna go crazy. It's just gonna get uh, out of crazy. hand, You can I sit think. up here and fart outside these days and nobody gives a fuck, but sit up here and cough you or cough. sneeze. You, Yo, uh, bro. It's, it's you, weird, cause you're you, like, <laughs> when I have to cough, I look around like, is there enough people? Yeah. Like, oh man, like, <laughs> no, do that I wasn't a COVID cough. Do I keep my mask up and cough or do I yeah. cough with my mask on my shoulder? Do I take it like, down? How do, you, how do you look like you're not sick when you cough? Like, that's yeah, what that's, I be thinking. Yeah. Like, <laughs> Yeah, see, guys, you, that wasn't even deep. There was I had no base. In my throat. That's all it was. It was. That's all it was. I just ah, ah, yeah. water. Hey, you had to see me when we was going when we, when we was flying to Porto, and I'm I need to cough so bad, and I'm like, <clears throat> and, and I'm trying to, and then at one point I forgot. I really like I don't know I was because I was watching a Netflix show, and I forgot, and I like I really like. <clears throat> Bro, the whole plane Look freaked out, bro. Everybody was like, what the fuck is happening? Zombie! Uh, yeah. You know what I compare it to a lot, which is, I know I'm probably going to get some slack, whatever. But uh, I always compare it to like the naive, naive how, how naive people were back in the 80s when it came to to um, HIV and AIDS yeah. and how everybody thought like if I had HIV and I'm touching here <laughs> and you touched it like yo that dude had HIV you you, you sure you gotta go get tested you gotta go get tested but that's what like the panic how Spitting how people, people are so, right yeah, now yeah, it's, it's, a, it's like compared to I, I bet you we're gonna all look back on this and be like yo I can't believe we were doing I can't believe shit. we were so stupid like, I, can't that's, I grew up in the 80s mm-hmm. and 90s and I know how people were acting when it came to like HIV and AIDS and like Seeing like, oh, only gay people get that. And then it's like, oh, oh, okay, yeah, wait, yeah. other people get, oh, a nurse got it? But is she gay? <laughs> no, 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 she's not gay. You know, like, that's fucked up. You know what I'm saying? And then you're looking back, like, as you get older, and you're like, I can't believe we were thinking shit like that. Like, Real or shit. if you sweat, and like, you put on somebody else's like headband or whatever, and it just sweat grazed <laughs> up against you for whatever reason, then all of a sudden you got AIDS, and you're thinking like, okay. And then you find out Magic Johnson played NBA, and it's still had mm. HIV and then like 20 years later is He's HIV chilling. free <laughs> you know what I'm saying like yeah, the virus yeah. is out so I think it's gonna be it's like to that level 
living through something like that and like the start of it, you know, like late seventies, I wasn't born in the seventies and everything, but like hearing about it. And then the eighties when it was like a big media thing when it came to HIV, I think it's going to be exactly now, you know, like where, mm-hmm. when it comes to Corona that people are going to look back and be like, I can't believe we were doing like we were wearing masks. That's and then they find so out like, masks made it even worse. <laughs> like, exactly. More exactly. people died. But actually mask <laughs> is making it worse. Yeah, I know because, because people don't change them enough and they touch them too much. Yeah. You know, like, yeah. First about the people all, with the, the, the gloves on yeah. their oh, the and plastic and, gloves. And, and where they put it, then they, he puts it in his yeah. pocket where he puts. Oh, I hate wings. seeing those motherfuckers with gloves on in the like, train you sit or here, something. Yeah, you sit or, in a, or in like the supermarket and like yo I don't know where those gloves yeah. were and now you just touched everything. everything oh thank you that you feel safe <laughs> and you know that you just rubbed your asshole exactly. I don't like, know what the fuck you just did you and, and then you just touched shit. the juice and the yogurt oh thank you yeah. <laughs> exactly exactly Crazy. Yeah, we, nah, I hate we those out of fucking gloves. control with this uh, the gloves is annoying like they do the mask you know what I'm saying disinfecting like, like yeah, people but, washing your hands that's all that's dope you know like it's 2020 we learning about Come washing on. hands you can, you can sit up here and be a painter yeah All right. what kind of mask do you have on if you have a if you're a painter not a painter graffiti artist you graffiti mean. artist yeah. whatever you sit up here you man you got a big ass two filters on your damn yeah. mask you really gonna sit up here and did give me some that? operation mask yeah. to sit up and protect me from a virus did you see that <laughs> meme of a virus yeah. come on get the fuck out of did here did you see that meme uh, with the masks like a graffiti artist I don't know We, I don't know what kind of you know flack you know they might sit up here and try and say you know sit up here talking about you know masks or not mm. there was I'm trying Good, to find it I cannot find it there was a meme uh, where it was like a um, graffiti or something, and then there's a mask with that filter. Okay. Then it was like uh, Chernobyl or something, like a whole big ass mask and suit. Then it was like uh, Mars, um, uh, noon, and like a big big ass suit. And then it was like the the worst, the biggest global pandemic. And then just that's <laughs> the little. Blue. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I, I posted just, that picture just, where it was like that. Yeah, 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 I posted that where it was yeah. like different, um, different masks for different situations. Yeah. Different masks. And different the last situation. one. Yeah. That we have right now for the biggest Dang. pandemic was, yeah. you know, Small. With the ones that we we're get, wearing. Get the, fuck, get the fuck out of here. Get the fuck out of here. Ridiculous. Which you got to change every you know, couple hours and people wear you know, anyway, like days long. <laughs> like, it's something we can, you can, we can sit up here and discuss a lot of, we, we, we can discuss it all day long, but it's weird to hear people's reasoning behind different things, why they should or should not and stuff. And a lot of people just go off of just what they may hear. If, for me personally, I'm sorry. I go back to the meme. If you're gonna use for fucking graffiti a big ass two filter yeah. system, so give me something for fucking better than fucking for Corona. What is a world without rules? So what do you think that people? Yo, need don't go with area. this question no, 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 to no, no, Hayes. No, 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 no. <laughs> it's gonna go <laughs> deep, bro. Let's, let's go. I mean, let's go there. I mean, Here like, we go. What, do people? Do humans? Do we, as a society, do we need rules to function? Unfortunately, yeah, his- through psychology that has been used today, mm-hmm. yes, people need, as they said in the military, purpose and direction. Purpose and direction. That is that is how it is. Unfortunately, not saying everybody. Yeah. We're, we're not trying to throw everybody into the same pot. Yeah. It's a generali- generalization statement. But yes, unfortunately, we need that. We need somebody to tell us. I don't need somebody to tell me to look both ways before I cross the street. You know, mm-hmm. I don't I don't need this 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 cross light to sit up here and tell me, you know, I don't need somebody, I don't need a book to tell me well, not to kid, slap a motherfucker. When kids are standing at you the know? intersection, I like to not cross the red light. Yeah, me too. Yes, we like that. to be we like to be a you know role model for these you know yeah. for kids and stuff, but because I don't want them to run out and I be the reason why they. But just what is did, out. so from selfish reasons? My though. mom. No, no, no. Like, well, yeah, <laughs> I guess. My mom and dad go. never said. They, they said, "Look both ways before you cross the street." So if, they, we never went to a crosswalk, and it was like, "Hey, we're gonna stop so because some it dude, was red." No, you've I'm, never I'm as an adult street. seen somebody about to walk, and you automatically walk because that person's walked, and then realize that super motherfucker just walked when it was red and the car's coming. No. 
I've done that. I've done that. <laughs> I you know. <laughs> blindly, I, I got hit by a car. I'm gonna look both ways. <laughs> no, no but I'm like, not trying to play that game. I'm in a society yeah. where you have you're looking at your phone anyway, so you're looking at feet and you dude, see somebody dude, start you moving. Know me. No, no, you know no. Me, dude. Actually, I'm no, not bro. On my phone like yeah, exactly. I, I've done, I've done it, but I would, uh, I, I guess, I wasn't hearing correctly. I, huh. I never, I always check. No, no, I've checked in that mo but I've taken it, taken a step, Already. and then and then I thinking, oh shit, the car's about to come, and that person didn't even realize, you know, they're or about was, to get mm -hmm. their ass blasted, yeah, about to, or just like with the S bond or the shots, uh, the street train the other day, and I was trying yeah, yeah, to yeah, cross, yeah. and then I realized, oh shit, because the other dude was trying to go, and I'm like, yo, I stopped him from getting hit from the train. Like, uh, no, I always, I always, to, always, check. really, always, yeah. I don't. Oh, you guys need I don't try a to be Boy on my Scout, my, uh, I don't like need a, to be. I don't try to be on my phone <laughs> when I'm sitting up here trying to go in front of such a situation. Man, get the, <laughs> man, get the, It's not that goddamn serious. It's nothing to check that goddamn important. Yeah, no, I, I, I don't know, but I'm always aware. Everybody I'm can get the distracted. You, oh, nobody ever said that. Yeah. No, everybody can get distracted. That's the, you know, what I'm saying exactly. We can knock on some wood in this motherfucking shit. Shit like that and stuff, but no, nah, it I'm, probably sounds you know whole and yeah, yeah, empty. Yeah. <laughs> fucking hollow, hollow earth theory in this motherfucking <laughs> shit. Oh look, no. But on that topic, I have to say something. Three, two, one, go. Uh, I noticed that Germans, when they drive, no, they don't look. They they're not like for example I've I've bought a bike it, yeah I bought yeah. a bike remember, yeah. remember when it came yeah. so it was like beginning of the summer or something, yeah. right so I bought the bike beginning of the summer since I got it I've been riding twin like all the fucking time and I I I'm really surprised that there's not many people dying every day <laughs> because so many fucking idiots. They don't know how to like. I'm I'm driving and like I'm behind like two three people and they're driving their bike or scooter, and they're like, for example, you know what they have what you what they do here? They're driving their bike and then they, for example, they want to go right, right? And there's like a car lane right next, you know? And then they're like, hmm, just put their hand like I'm gonna go here. And don't yeah, it's my and right to turn. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, but they don't even look. Yeah, they don't give a fuck. They don't give a fuck. He's like, I'm going yeah, here. Yeah. I don't care what is happening behind me. I'm going right. <laughs> and I'm like, wow, that's gonna get that's, your ass blasted. That's like, I don't know. That's like, I don't know. I used to think that was like a. Oh, okay. Certain situations, I guess you can say that they think that's the that's the law. Like zebra, uh, bro, like fuck the law. Like the I mean, zebra stripes. You yeah, know, yeah, like yeah, the stripes when you're walking over that. the street. I do do. You that. know, people are I walk automatically. Out the, I walk out the street. If you live here I, long enough me, in Germany, <laughs> you'll be like, you know what? I used to hate that shit. I'd be like, these motherfuckers just walking out on the street. They like they own it. Uh, and then everybody be like, yo, Kev, that's the zebra stripes. You know, once you walk on that thing, you know, that's your 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 your, your place, spot. your spot. And shit. <laughs> the cars they have to stop. Yeah, don't touch me. Yeah, but the thing is, like you can not trust people like that you yes know, but, but, well i'm driving bike but this I is think, literally all i'm doing all day yeah i think you just like get like you like get like conditioned it's, to the yeah, fact that a, like the rules it's level of comfort here yeah. it's really a level of comfort i don't know like I've i, mean, seen I don't like it either yeah. people my are mom, so my mom my brother they don't look they've all they said look. something about that because i will be talking to them in mid stride and just walk across yeah. a zebra stripe like you know crosswalk yeah. mm -hmm. I don't, I don't but know. Hit me, we finna get paid. You ever today. realize? <laughs> you ever realize that people uh, want to go right but look left, so they turn right but look left and don't even see if I'm walking on the right side and like. You yeah, know what I'm saying? yeah, I will so have I this so many times. I used to think that times. it was just also like maybe here in Germany and I stuff. That so many times. But I think it's just like a people thing. Like we get so distracted and we're already having our head like in ten meters. I'm about to take a right, and then you're already doing whatever you're doing. You're looking. Oh, you know what I'm saying? And navigation then, system. <laughs> then all of a sudden you make a right. You know, bam. And then you don't even think about the person in your blind spot that you you know. The, I, I had think this it's just so, a, I had this so many. I had so many. Times. This I happens almost, always I, to me. I almost yeah. picked up, like I almost crashed into people. <laughs> oh, stupid. Yeah, they look one way, go to another. But I think that's just uh That's part of Jim Mississippi. Like, yeah, for me, yeah, being from Mississippi, we don't have all these traffic issues. I mean, we yeah. we're building up now in my. So you, you know, guys could actually get up on the horse and carriage thing <laughs> when we were touching yeah, on I the first ride, one. Man. No, no, yeah, I know I you know can ride a horse. He, they don't have Ubers in Croatia. That's what we were talking about the first time. For real? No, no, no they, got, have, uh, oh, they got horses. They got, <laughs> they got horse rides and stuff. That's <laughs> <laughs> Amish, Amish, Amish people here? Uh, no, no, we got... In we beaches. Got. Bro, we had Uber before Frankfurt. 
Yeah, because they had uh, they they didn't allow it here. But you know what? Ha- what we did, bro, it was a war, a good because of the taxes. Huh? Yeah, because of the taxes. But they, it was a it was a good it was a good six uh, up to a year war in Croatia between the taxi drivers because taxi drivers were crazy. flipping out yeah. when Uber came out. They were flipping out, and we had some crazy fucked up stories like. Um, uh, uh, you you had like stories like you had scenes where an uber driver drives a person and he ordered an uber but actually he put the location and then when they got to the location there was another taxi driver waiting for him and then they beat the shit out of him put the car on fire yeah. it was God damn. fucked God up damn. shit and wow. now those taxi drivers are uber drivers and now those taxi drivers <laughs> are all uber drivers <laughs> change, is inevitable. <laughs> change, change is inevitable change is inevitable i mean but fuck those motherfuckers like og taxi drivers because they used to like uh uh, drive uh, expensive rides like every drive i mean bro are you fucking kidding me every taxi driver like the og taxi like original taxi mm-hmm. they all fucking drive mercedes c you class mean in croatia? and in croatia too and here like how oh yeah but taxi that's driver? just a touring car yeah, that's and it's the, diesel yeah. okay, okay. No, so okay. it goes that's a long way but, okay okay yeah. but in croatia no so like how can you afford or was it the four chrysler in the states i don't know yeah, it was Ford. Them. Anyway, like, uh, in Croatia, motherfuckers cannot afford that. It ain't a uh, regular. You know what I mean? Like Mercedes, and everybody, and then because they got used to having big money, they they got used to sit all day, do five rides, and that's good for that day. Uber drivers, they have to drive minimum. In Croatia, you have to drive twelve hours to make okay living. Hmm. Twelve hours, bro, every single day. You know what I mean? Yeah. That's... And and of course they got mad because like, oh, I cannot sit anymore for five, oh, you know, on my butt and do nothing and do five rides and go home. I mean, a lot of people who do that are just doing it like, temp, you know, quick things, a couple of things a day, you know, for side money and stuff. No, taxi drivers? No, that was No, no, food. Uber drivers, I mean. Uber, yeah. Here, um, in Croatia? No. No, I mean, like, Uber drivers are mostly not doing it full, full time. time. Yeah, you know, side, side, side thing. Like yeah, side yeah, 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 I know. Also. This I know. So, yeah. Well, depends, you know. Yeah, I mean, there's Indians. people... <laughs> who can get a good business out of it <laughs> they got a good ride it's big enough I try to get a joke <laughs> try to try to stick it in there right after uh, yeah stick it but after the podcast oh bruno is a racist mm-hmm. yeah you, but, uh, gonna, yeah. you know somebody's gonna always say something do you know do you know andrew schultz yep. yeah of course i love yep. this guy he's yep. so dope Stand-up man. Comedian. he's so dope and he actually encourages me all the time like i don't know i like i do you guys like him? I mean, yeah, I mean, yeah, I be watching he's, highlights of him on YouTube, yeah, and yeah. he's um, he be getting on like crazy. He, he's, he reminds me of like you mean his back, podcast or his comedian stand up, his co- everything, his comedy stand up, yeah. everything. Mean, I like how it just reminds me of back in the day, but when it's not a stand up comedian a would get crowd work. At the audience and stuff. And yeah. he That's be, a crowd work. He be on the audience ass, man. He, but how are you, for example, because he also, uh, is, you know, he be on everything. Also like this black, uh, yeah. uh, black lives matter and in general black people. He got things with you, uh, how Charlemagne you, the God too. How do you, yeah. how do you feel? Yeah, that's his new thing. Yeah. yeah. How do you feel as black people when he drops black people jokes to Find it offensive? Do you find it funny? No, he's a comedian. I, I mean, that fits in, his whole role. Yeah, if anybody can't so. laugh at a joke or a comedian, like you really have. I think to that's stick like the, the you, job of exactly. It. That yeah. is my point. The job you of a comedian to. is Thank to you. touch on no, issues. No, now it just yeah. now it just went because I just live. watched yeah. the video. You know, I just you know I've already seen it, but you know, the video of uh, Dave Chappelle talking about. Uh, the Kevin Hart situation mm-hmm. with the Gram, you know, oh, with the Grammys and, and stuff, making a gay and joke and everything. The gay him joke, joking yeah. how he jokes with people, but I don't give a fuck what you say. If you can't sit up here and laugh at a joke, laugh at yourself, mm-hmm. then what the fuck you doing? Mm-hmm. Like, don't listen to it, don't watch it. Yeah, exactly. Turn it off. Exactly. Like, you already know what's gonna come. Exactly. If you already know what's gonna come, why the fuck is yeah. you? Yeah, like comedy, and and it's, it's like comedy. The funny thing is, is like, hey, I'm not supposed to say it. That's why times, it's funny. How many you times know? we sat up here? All oh, the words we've used back in the day. You, you sit up here and try and say that shit today. Huh? No, you no straight, way, straight no drama. drama, straight drama. drama, drama, and drama. I'm, yeah, I'm. Yeah, we live in a. I'm sensitive, not the one sensitive. to sit up here and just yeah censor my mouth. Yeah, I don't give a fuck. But. We live in a very sensitive age. It's ridiculous. One or somebody also. I watched a stand up special can't remember who who he was but he said like you guys are retarded like he's like when i said this joke blah blah whatever joke that was the line that you motherfuckers created was here mm-hmm. 
And that was 10 years ago. And 10 years ago, line was here, and I was right next to the line. Bro, don't change it. <laughs> Bro, I was like, <laughs> I was like what are you going to do? Uh, but anyway, um, the line was here 10 years ago, and I was right next to that line. Now the line is here. Uh, now, the li- already now the line is here. already passed that motherfucker. But I'm also riding that line. But the problem is you're calling me out because I was here across the line. Mm. That was, that was 10 years ago. I was always next to the line, but you keep going back, and yeah. back then was, you know what I mean? Oh, I, man, I can give two shits about how somebody feel about comedy. You, you, you a weak bitch for me, sorry. That's, that's just real shit. That's just yeah, real shit. Yeah, I would say Laugh, too. You I know would what say I'm saying? Too. Like you said, Andrew Shores, you got a lot of people out there, like, you know what I'm saying? Like Charlemagne the God, like how he be, I'm, I'm not just the biggest fan of, how he is and stuff, but he but provokes people. He he yeah. will provoke you and shit. Yeah. He he will find that way to get up under your skin on some shit. And comedians don't even have to provoke you. They, I mean, they provoke in a certain way, yeah, of course, and stuff. They think about his comedy and stuff. But man, if you, if you can sit up here and look at Charlamagne and God, or you can sit up here and look at other different types of comedy, Dave Chappelle, Kevin Hart, Chris Rock, or whatever. They, Andrew Schultz and stuff, man. C.K. Lewis, he sat up here in his Netflix specials was saying nigga. You know mm. what I'm saying? Oh. But look out. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. But he yeah. used to I write remember. for, yeah, yeah. he used to write for like what, in, in Living Color or no? He used to write for something. He used to write for a couple of, you know, black comedies and stuff, mm-hmm, you know, mm-hmm. comedians and series and stuff, man. That's, yeah, I, I'm, it's I'm, all about coming together, man. You you got to be able to laugh at every single motherfucker, yes, man. Yes, I'm I'm because I'm, I'm a big fan of comedy, stand up comedy especially, and I just like good comedy. And I'm feeling like, I mean, not now, for a very long time. It's also this whole industry, and this whole genre is getting us so attacked by all the sensitive little bitches. And it's not. I'm, I don't want to say it's dying out, but. I can see it going like it's it's lower. The, you mean the creativity? The creativity yeah. off of it. It's of being it, lost. It's being in, in the political, yeah. Yeah, because now realm. there's not a single stand up uh, show where you won't hear an artist say something about the audience not being cool with what they said. There's not a single one. Yeah, yeah. The last 15 that I've seen, they all they all go in that direction. And for me, it's like like I said, like comedy, like you're not supposed to say that. And then when you say it, it's funny. It's unexpected <laughs> and it's funny. That's comedy, you know. And I don't know. I I I, I have I have uh, um, moments where I was sitting with my fr- with people, some people that I know, and um, we we're watching comedy and stand up comedian, uh, whoever, he would say a joke and. It, it would be either racist or towards uh, gay people or this or that, and it was fucking funny. And I laughed, and they're like, "Why do you laugh? It's not funny. You should not say that." Mm. Oh no! And, oh no! I'm, I'm like, man, I'm, 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 I'm gonna. La- I love, lo- I love dark humor. So. I love it too. Mm-hmm. We, I told you, know, you yeah, we yeah, talked I'm, about actually. Yeah, yeah. I, I gave you so many. A lot of different in Croatia. Uh, in Croatia, yeah, yeah, we yeah. love. I, I, not as I don't know. I mean, Croatia's yeah, racist. It's all yeah, good. Croatians. Are, but you know what's <laughs> yeah, fu- nah. yeah, but you know what's funny is after I came uh, from Croatia here, um, um, and usually it's Uber drivers. And I'm like, hey, Cre-, and um, and and then they tell me Uber drivers, yeah, I've been to Croatia, and then a lot of people are telling me, yeah, Croatians are racist. And I was like, what? Yeah. No, man, no, 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 my country is good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I hear so many stories that we're racist, but like we as kids, um, we had, I'm not gonna lie, we had a lot who's, of uh, who's afraid of the black man. <laughs> yeah, yeah, we had a lot of shit over here in Germany. We had a lot of. Uh, <laughs> a racist jokes not towards black people towards everybody but it it was like we talked about it it was not like uh, racist it was more stereotypical yeah, jokes. That's, that's, stereotype that, yeah, jokes exactly not exactly. racist jokes it was also it was also racist towards us like we had jokes where it was funny about Croatians uh-huh. like it, so it was more of a stereotype jokes and then I tell you a lot of them right and I was rolling it was funny yeah, yeah. yeah they were funny Real but like I, honestly you're the only person that I told those jokes I think since I'm here no, but I never told any. I did tell some baby jokes. Yeah, yeah. And people were like, after second, I said the first one, and they were like, hmm. And I was like, okay, let me try to get one. And then I said another one, and they were like, well, and I was like, okay, fuck it. Yeah, them. just fuck it. Fuck it, yeah. But um, yeah, I don't know. I like, I don't know. What about you, Kevin? Do you like dark uh, humor? 
I like jokes. I just got to be in a mood for it. I mean, nigga, you always. <laughs> I'm always joking. This thing, he's always joking. <laughs> I just don't like to look at other people's stuff. You know, I like to look at my stuff or hear myself. Okay, Lil okay. Wayne. <laughs> oh, okay. This nigga. But um, yeah, I'm into comedy. I love comedy. That's probably why I'm so comedic. <laughs> when your Netflix special coming? Um, one one of these days, I just have to put it out there in the universe. Why not, bro? Manifest just it. why not? Just his. Yeah, we'll say it right here on the second <laughs> podcast. Yeah, say it right here. Uh yeah, um, guys, I think that's it for yes. the first episode. What do you guys think? Feel good, you know. Chilling. I, I got I, honestly I got a fart, so I kinda wanna <laughs> stop recording. <laughs> so I can fart. <laughs> Appreciate y'all having me on. Appreciate yeah. it. You know what I'm saying? Hey, uh, thank you for coming. Thank you. And I hope we do many more together. Yeah, definitely. 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 You know what I'm saying? We'll we'll, we'll see what happens. Thank we'll, you. Hey. We'll see the feedback y'all get from uh Ganao, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Exactly. The feedback will be like this. Um, you know what? Uh that part yeah. when you mentioned you know, um yeah. wood, you know? I didn't feel a, uh I felt offended. <laughs> yeah. I don't want nobody getting offended. Go fuck yourself. It's all good. When somebody all has love, a name Hayes, do they smoke a lot? You know something, man? <laughs> it, it, that's <laughs> That's what's crazy. I can as soon as I say my name, first thing people say is some shit like that. So That's your nickname, it's, right? It's always yo smoking <laughs> purple haze shit like that, but But when you told me haze, I was like, huh? Yeah, haze, haze, haze. Yeah, I was like sh- should be like that. But um should be like that. Now it reminded me, bro. In a couple of days birthday. is your birthday. Yeah, something like that. Bro, we actually met literally one year one, ago. One well, that year means ago. your birthday is the next day. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> 2020 has been a motherfucker, bro. Bro, so we met. Wait, I just bro. realized this right now. I'm sorry. We're not stopping yet. <laughs> yeah, For everybody yeah, that, see, that like, is listening and that, that, that hoped uh, that we're going to stop it, uh, go fuck yourself. Uh, <laughs> wait, wait. So we, like, it's going to be like a couple of days, going to be a year. Yeah. God damn it. Bristol's Cafe. Yeah. Funny, that's Real really shit. funny actually. How fast time flies, right? Yeah, crazy. Like How this fast. year especially. When Corona we, started, I was like, "Oh, this year's gonna be so long." And yeah, yeah. Done. We sit up and did a little Corona video. From one regulation to the next. You know, Corona <laughs> video. Corona happy. video was uh, good. Uh, yeah, toilet paper. Good, yeah. I wonder what's gonna be the next crave. What do you mean the next crave? Yeah, like, well, what's gonna be the, off like, the of, next? It was trend. tripping off of toilet paper. We were doing toilet it's, paper the last uh, season. Yeah, yeah. Season? yeah. No, this season got to be something. Got to. <laughs> got to. I don't know, but um, yeah, bro, nice knowing you. One year. Real shit, man. Well, are we going to do something for our birthdays or are we going to be pathetic and desperate? I think you guys should try out something new. And what this this <laughs> this, this nigga can come with some more New Jersey, yeah. what they do in New Jersey yeah. type shit, okay. North and you know what I'm saying? A birthday rub down or something. This nigga, see, <laughs> okay. you gonna get your ass whooped? Not by me, but but nah, we'll we'll, we'll, we'll see what problem. we get into, man. Um, it's been an interesting year, and very interesting to year. Be one more year older now. How yeah. old are you gonna be now? You're gonna turn 37? 37, bro. Black well, until you reach 40, black like this old crack. motherfucker. Black, you know, black does not crack. You know what I'm saying? saying. <laughs> it's, it's, it's been one hell of a fucking ride, my nigga. Real <laughs> shit. Hell of a ride, real. Hell of a fucking ride. But definitely enjoyed it with y'all and stuff. It was uh, going to keep this shit moving. It was cool, yeah. Keep this shit moving. Like you say, you know, we was finna sit up here. We started doing the whole outro and stuff, but sometimes that's how it is, man. You get into a whole new conversation and shit. Yeah, and usually those last that last one is the the most interesting one. Real shit. Maybe practice. that should be our thing. Maybe that should be our thing. Like we're like, okay, uh, we're done, and then we randomly so, go into so another like, one. When the credits are rolling and shit, and you got some at the end of the fucking movie, uh, and people are thinking, okay, it's over, and it's like, uh, and then like we come up with the topic, <laughs> uh, nah, no, because I love to wear thongs. Yeah. <laughs> 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 oh, crazy but anyway uh carl hayes thank you very much so thank Appreciate you so much for coming much bro love. real shit um and don't forget uh bruno's free foot <laughs> massage for your you birthday bitch. <laughs> <laughs> bye bye guys thank peace. you for listening peace, peace. peace. one love <laughs>